Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be creating a membership site with MemberStack and uh, I'll be integrating MemberStack onto a HTML template that I was able to download from a site called Cruip. And if you've never heard of, of Cruip, I highly recommend that you um, give it a look over because they have some really beautiful templates that are available um, with all the HTML, all the CSS, and all the JavaScript that you would yeah, you would ever need. And they do have free templates that are available, and they also have uh, paid templates that are that are also available. And in this video, I'm going to be creating my membership site with this premium splash template. So let's get started. Okay, so I downloaded the template from Crip, and um, I opened it up in VS Code, and using the Go Live plugin in VS Code. I'm just going to run this to create a quick little dev server where I'm able to access the template. So we can see it here. We've got a there, there are a couple different things going on here in this template um, that we will be using. So we have the home page. Obviously, we have a sign up page. So we are going to be connecting member stack to this sign up form. We have a login page. And then if I go back to the home page, we can see that we have this secondary page here. And there is a pricing table component down here that we'll be able to use for our pricing page. So right now, I would say the next step would be to get this template working or looking like uh, you want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and create my uh, pricing page. And then as far as the content goes, I'm going to duplicate this additional page and I'm going to create some basic content for a basic membership I'm going to create and then a premium page uh, or premium content and we will create a premium membership a little bit later on. So first step would be to get this template in site looking how you would like it to. Alrighty, so I just finished setting up the template the way I want it to be. So now I have a basic page with basic content. I have a pro page with pro content and I have a pricing page now that has a uh, pricing modal um, or pricing table with two memberships, basic and pro. And both of these memberships now link to my signup page. So the next step will actually be integrating a member stack into this template because at this point I have done nothing with member stack. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now I'm on member stack and the first step will be clicking add website and this will be a custom website since we're working directly with the HTML and give it a name. I'm going to call it splash template. And as far as a testing domain, this isn't required. However, I recommend doing this because member stack will help you validate things and steps. Um, validate steps as you as you go along. So in order to do this, I'm going to use a free service called Ngrok, where I'm just going to be able to expose my dev server to a public URL, which is here. But like I said, not a required step, just recommended. There we go. So member stack just verified that that domain actually exists. So now we're able to create that website. Perfect. Okay, so the now that we're in the dashboard, uh, there's a setup checklist that um, if we follow this through, we'll have a complete working membership site um, in the end. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to the hide content section. And here we'll be creating two hidden groups because in our template, we have our basic content and our pro content. So we need to create a hidden group for each. So I'm going to start with the basic and I'm just going to say hide all URLs and hide all pages that start with basic. And if there is and if a user tries to access to this page that doesn't have permission, I'm just going to send them to the login page. And I'm going to do the same for the pro content starts with pro and send them to the login page. Nice. Save it. All right. So now that that's done, now the next step will be to create our memberships. So first I'm going to create my basic membership. I'm just going to call it basic. And I've made this membership 999. Let me just confirm that. 
Uh, I made it $10. Okay. So $10 and it's going to be monthly. I'm not having, um, I'm not going to do any of these additional features or use these additional settings. And the basic membership will unlock the basic hidden content. And after member sign up for basic, I want them to navigate to the basic content. So take them to the basic page. And you can see that member stack is verifying um, all these steps just to make sure that these pages actually exist. So I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the pro membership. And the pro membership is 39 a month. And for the pro membership, I wanted to definitely unlock pro, but for members that have pro, I also want them to be able to access basic. So they're getting both. And the page after sign up in this case will just be the pro page. So now that that's done, we need to tell member stack what membership is what on the pricing page. And it's pretty simple to do. So we'll go and click these attributes and I'm going to copy the attribute for the basic membership. I'm going to come over here to my HTML go to my pricing page and the link for the basic plan, I'm just going to add that attribute to it. So I'm going to add it right here. And what this does is when, when a user clicks on the basic plan, this just tells member stack that they selected the basic plan. So member stack can keep track of what your users are doing. So the same thing with the pro plan, just copy that attribute, come down to your pro button, we'll add it right there. Perfect. So now that's set up, uh, we can test, we can do this test button and enter in our pricing page and member stack will just confirm that it's, it was able to find both memberships on the pricing page. So now the next step will be setting up the sign up and login page. So in order to do that, we'll start with the sign up first. So first things first, we'll just tell member stack what our sign up page is. This is just for testing purposes. You can have as many sign up pages as you would like. Um, but the first step in this process will be copying over the necessary attributes to the form. So let's click MS dash sign up equals true. And we need to copy this attribute to the sign up form. So I'm going to open up my sign up HTML and I'm going to navigate to the form itself and place that attribute there. And now I need to place the email and password attributes in the email field and the password field. And this just lets member stack know what field is which. So MS field equals email. And now MS field is equal to password. And here we have an additional input uh, that's collecting the full name. So in order to collect the first or the, the full name, we need to add a field to member stack. So in order to do that, just click add custom fields. And I'm just going to call this name. And now that we've created this, if I select on it, it has an attribute. And I am able to place this in the input field for the name. Save. So now that is done. Um, we I can click test sign up page and member stack was able to find all the fields, including the sign up form. So good to go there. And the process for the login page is almost identical. I'm going to give it the login page. I need to copy the attribute for the actual login form itself. This time it's just MS dash login instead of MS MS dash sign up. And this is identical to the sign up form. Just need to give the email field this attribute and the password field this attribute. And one additional step here is we have a password reset attribute. So anytime a user clicks on this button, a uh, member stack needs to know when to launch the password reset modal. So we're going to go down here to um, this a tag and I'm going to place this right there MS dash forgot. And that will do the trick there. So now I can click test login page and member stack will verify that everything's set up correctly. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the dashboard and see what's next. So 
Um, the next step will be member profiles. And what this attribute will do is we need to place this on any button that we want to launch the manage account modal. So in this case, if I go back to my template and go back to my pro content, I've got an account button there. And same with basic. So we need to give both those buttons a uh, attribute. So there's there's account. So I'm just going to give this ms dash profile is equal to true. And same thing with pro. And that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to, I'm just going to click next. All right, so the next step will be adding a logo and color. So the color code for this site I wrote down, and I'm going to go ahead and enter it in now. There we go. Ah, that looks a little off. Uh, let's go with zero. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. And now I can select a image for the logo, or I can select the logo. There we go. Upload. Perfect. Okay. So the last step will be actually installing member stack into the HTML, into the template. So now that I'm on the install code page, I can just click copy code. And this code needs to be added to every single page. So I'm going to start with my pricing page. And it just needs to go in the header. So save, uh, sign up page. So now that I've added this script to all the uh, headers in, in, each, in each file, I can click test installation and member stack will confirm that it's successfully installed. And that is it on the member stack side of things. So now we can go to the uh, template, the HTML, and test it out and see if it's see if it's working. Alrighty, so now I'm on the home page and I'll be able to test out the integration now to make sure that everything is set up correctly. So in order to test out the hidden content, if I try to go to the basic page, I am unable to. So member stack is working there. And even if I try to access the basic page directly, I'm still taken back to the login page. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the home page and I'm going to create an account. So I'm going to sign up and I'm going to select the basic plan, which is $10 a month. Fill out my info and click sign up. And now we can see that member stack has launched a checkout modal where I'm able to actually purchase the basic membership that I created. So for now, I'm just going to click confirm and pay since the uh, membership is still in test mode. I don't have to enter in a real payment. And I am taken to the basic content now. And now that I have access to the basic content, if I try to access the pro, I'm still unable to, to do that. So it's going to take me back to the pricing page where I will be able to upgrade later. But for now, what I'd like to show is the account button. So if I click on this button, it launches the member profile. So here I'm able to update my information, change my password and manage my own membership. And I also am able to log out from this modal. But to show what the upgrade process looks like, I'm just gonna click upgrade, which is just a link to the pricing page. And if I were to select this pro plan, member stack will launch the update membership modal where I'm able to change my membership to the pro plan and, I'm, and from here, I'm able to upgrade and downgrade. Now, if I had a credit card on file, it would be displayed here. So the member uh, wouldn't have to enter in their credit card information again. So now I'm just gonna click change membership and it navigates me to the pro content page that I now have access to. And I still have access to basic content because that's how um, I set it up in member stack. And the last thing I would like to do is I'm going to go ahead and log out and go to the login form just to verify that that was set up correctly. So I already have an account, so I'm going to log in. And while I'm here, I'm going to click on forgot password. And we can see that the member stack reset your password modal comes up where I'm able to uh, send a password reset email and through a code, 
I'm able to reset it if need be. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Perfect, so we can see that that worked. So right now the uh, integration is, is complete and everything is working like it's supposed to. Now I would consider this um, all, all the basics done. Now with MemberStack, we have tons of other features that let you do some other awesome things like being able to display and hide content on a single page based on their membership level. Um, ultimately, what you, you could also do is add your own logout button. That is pretty simple. And all these additional features can be found in our support docs. But like always, if you do need help with anything, feel free to reach out to us. We can be uh, reached at team at memberstack.io. And another great, great place to, to reach out is the chat through our website. So I hope this tutorial was, was helpful. And, uh, and, and like always, just let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.